Hello and welcome to another edition of the Franchise Tag. I am Gareth Smith and today I'm joined by Joe Rush, the Minnesota Vikings Youth and High School Football Manager, who's currently up in the beautiful city of Newcastle. How are you doing, Joe? Doing fantastic. So thrilled to be up here uh, in Newcastle and back in the UK where there's a lot of Vikings fans, a lot of flag football interests, and, and ultimately, you know, just a lot of great people to be around. So happy to be here. Thanks for having me. No, thanks very much for coming on. I do truly appreciate it. So obviously up in Newcastle today, um, and as you mentioned, running a flag event. Do you want to tell us a bit about the event? Like how many kids have you got? Uh, what age ranges? Yeah, yeah. So we, uh, we're we hosting a tournament here with eight teams. So we have about 80 kids uh, participating in, in, a, in, in our first ever Vikings flag football tournament here in the okay. UK. So really excited to have representation from uh, seven different schools uh, at, at the, you know, uh, middle school age range level. So uh, it's been fun, you know, playing a co-ed, uh, girl, both boys and girls getting the opportunity to play. It's It's been a really good day. I say flag football is always interesting to watch. I've been to a few flag events up and down, up and down the country at this point, and just see how the kids get into it. And bearing in mind, for some of these kids, this will be the first chance they ever have to play, like American football, as we call it as football, as uh, more your version of the language. Um, so, how much, how nice it's been to see these kids embracing the game and learning as the day goes on. Yeah, it's it's truly incredible. Like I, I I've been blown away not only by the the passion and the interest, but also the skill level. Right, uh, you know, despite it being something where you know the vast majority of these kids either haven't played before or they've played very very little before, but they're picking it up really really quickly. And and the the talent, the athleticism, you can tell that it's here. So it's really awesome to see kind of that interest and and ability, the you know, kind of mesh together to ultimately uh, turn out a good product on the field. It's interesting because obviously Newcastle as well being, it's not what I would call a traditional rugby. I know they've got a professional rugby team up there, but it's not normally what I know. When you know it's considered rugby foundations that some of these other parts of the UK have. So it's interesting that what is primarily what would be a football, I'll probably offend a lot of rugby fans at this, from Newcastle rugby fans at this point. Uh, but like, it's interesting how they transition to what is not our version of football to your version of football in effect. So it's interesting to see that. So, and obviously you mentioned obviously having both boys and girls playing, which is obviously really crucial to drive that engagement and getting that interest. And there's a big incentive for some of these kids to keep learning and adapting in the game with the Olympic Games going to start having flag football moving forward. How much of an opportunity think it is for some of these kids, if they do progress, to go on to be uh, represent Great Britain in further down the line. Yeah, I mean, that's the ultimate end goal, right? We want to kind of create that groundswell of interest and ability to ultimately kind of layer up into that international competition. But, you know, certainly, you know, football and flag football, whether they're playing professionally or in the, in the Olympic setting, um, you know, certainly there's other benefits to, to playing team sports, yeah. as we all know, right? Just from the character building and, and teamwork and camaraderie and just, you know, facing adversity and overcoming challenges. Yeah. Uh, it's truly just a great sport. Uh, to get involved with regardless of skill level. But ultimately, yes, you know, we're trying to build that pipeline uh, to ultimately have that, you know, Great Britain team compete in the Olympic Games. Uh, and really excited that the Olympics for both men's and women's will be included in the 2028 uh, Los Angeles Olympic Games. And obviously yourself, it's not your first trip over here either. So say we, we realize, oh, I met you in Manchester as well. So obviously you've got to see the Vikings fans over here. How excited are you for to see them in London when you guys get to come over here and play. Yeah, it's 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 so special. Uh, you know, certainly be, being uh, you know quite a ways away back home in Minnesota, we don't uh, you know regularly get to have face to face touch points with our fans over here. But there's a ton of them, right? So it's awesome to to get out in the community and and have the opportunity to to see how much it means to people here uh, and, and to, to meet them where they're at and, and come on, on their turf. It just, you know, it takes that, that excitement level to a, to a whole nother level. So uh, as an organization, uh, as our youth and high school football manager, you know, it's, it's certainly way more special to be boots on the ground face to face with people and, and kind of, you know, feel that, that game day environment, that, that passion about the game. So uh, awesome to be here and, and we're having a great time. That's it. And have you got any other plans for any more events while you're over here? Is there any others while you're here? Yeah, so we'll be doing a, a, a youth football clinic in uh, London next Friday, um, and, and that will be an opportunity for for kids in London to, to kind of meet our players and our coaches and get them involved as well. So uh, we'll, we'll be looking to do more kind of uh, skill-based uh, uh, clinic okay. things here in London in the coming week as well. 
Perfect. No, thank you very much for your time today, Joe. It's yeah. absolutely great to chat to yourself again. Hopefully you get to see yourself at some point. When I, I say, unfortunately, I'm not able to come to this one because when there's a few of us, we all have to vie for, and I got outvoted for it was for this one, unfortunately. Um, but no, wishing you every good luck with the game in London and obviously enjoy the rest of your time here in the UK. Thanks so much. And yeah, we'll, we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you very much. And thank you everyone for watching at home. We'll be back again soon with another very special guest.